Hello there, welcome to another video tutorial of Tag IP Friend. My name is Mohan Kumar Mahakut and today we are going to learn about run command which is very helpful to use your personal or work computer. You can get fresh from your lead or manager if you know this. So let's get started without any delay. So window plus R we need to place to launch the run command right and we'll do one by one testing so let's start with some uh, formal command and we'll start with typing explorer okay so this command helps you to open a, a file or folder explorer page which is known as windows explorer as well next we have regedit this is mostly to make some changes from your current user root local machine users and current configuration so you can change any of your configuration by going inside this next we have services dot msc This will open all the services which Windows use, and you can see if the services are running or not. Right. So this is also very uh, useful for the techie guys. Next we have Task Manager, which is Task MGR. You can see we have everything process performance of stage startup users. Next, we have clean MGR. So, this helps to clean any of your drive, like whatever drives you are having inside your system. You can select and start cleaning them okay next we have ms config this is uh, uh, normally we can say system configuration but uh, inside that you can see different things which may not be visible from uh, normal mode right so you can see general boot services startup right let's move to next we have MMC and this is a console view from here you can uh, import or export any of your uh, certificate organization certificates helps health for that like art remove snap you can do okay next we have ms info 32 uh, this mostly uh, people not using like it uh, it guys or techie guys also not using this key mostly but uh, you can see all your information about your system right the memory the hardware components everything you can get it here okay next next we have mstsc and this is very none command 
this is well and come on to all the uh, like uh, 60 to 70 percent definitely uh, the users know this command and this is used to take remote to any of your inside the organization or outside the organization through the networking right uh, next we have log off and if you press enter this directly logs you off from the PC without any confirmation okay so we cannot I cannot show this uh, practical to you you can definitely try in your PC next similarly we do have shutdown and this will turn off your PC uh, directly without confirming the log of you uh, the log of option will make you log out from the system it will not turn off but the shutdown or uh, shutdown command definitely shut the windows down okay so these uh, two you can try on yourself next move to another one cmd and you can get open command prompt and we're going to learn definitely some uh, basic commands about com command prompt in our upcoming videos so stay tuned and stay subscribed let's go for another one it's d x d i a g and this is also very very used command like people do not use in their regular life so here also you can see your versions right and you should know all your versions what you are using next we have notepad and it gives you a notepad impact notepad to launch excel without searching for it you can type excel and it will open for you right same we have for word if you type word that will not open but if you type win word that uh, definitely you can get a word document All right and uh, next we have win word to get your windows version what you're using okay then IV config this actually having some issues so it's not sticking to the display but definitely you can get IP address of your PC next uh, move to net pl wyz and this open use uh, user account details like local user or administrator user you can change anything from here All right next we have some uh, control panel command which is uh, very useful for system admins so let's start with apps so by this command you can see all of your installed application if you press control it will open the control panel for you next we have firewall
So you can see your firewall setting inside your PC if it is turned on or turned off. And next you have on CPA dot CPL. Sorry, it should be CPA dot CPL. And you can see all your drivers related to the network like Wi-Fi or Ethernet or virtual right and you can make changes inside directly here so this is very useful while checking your internet settings next we have sysdm.cpl and here you can see your system properties and if you want you can change your PC name or the work group or like uh, in domain anything you can change uh, change it from here okay next we have inet cpl or cpl and it gives you internet properties from here basically you can clear your browsing history or delete other uh, delete other settings like you know cookies say password histories apart from that you can add the VPN LAN setting here right proxy setting also we can change here let's move to another one next we have some administrative command oh C O M P M G M T computer management dot MSC and here we have lots of things related to your PC like task editor, event bureau, shared folders, local users and groups, performance, device manager, disk management, right? So we have some shortcuts related to all these things and we have discussed it already and some other shortcuts are there you can get it directly one of these uh, uh, settings right so let's see so we have disk management dot msc so we can get into disk management like i said from computer management one of the part called disk management you can go directly by typing disk management i mean disk mgmt dot msc right so next uh, to see your performance your pc's performance you can try a form perf mon dot msc and it will see the performance of the windows how it is working everything so it's showing green and some showing red you can monitor like this uh, next we have event viewer so vwr dot msc to track any of your crashing windows crashing or some software changes you can go inside this and you can track it from windows log or application services logs right so this is one one of the main main thing when you are using or tracking something or related to your system's behavior. Next we have Dev Management, which is device management. So from here you can change any of your drivers, audio, video 
related to the network keyboard mouse everything you can change it here okay so that's it we have used 30 run commands I believe you got something new to learn today if so please like the video and if you are new to my channel considering subscribe to it let me know through the comments if you want any specific topics to learn related to IT stuff don't forget to share this to your friends uh, see you in another video till then take care of yourself